It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And who is ready for a pure stout? This is from Breheny Brothers Breweries. And this is their superior pure stout. It looks terrific, absolutely terrific this. It looks absolutely great. Um, 6.2% ABV. I'm just caught something on the back of the can here. This um, whew, made me slightly emotional. I didn't realize, um, yeah. Um, I just picked up this can to review it. Now this has been sent from Australia by the wonderful Trav in Australia. Thank you very much, Trav. Really, really appreciate this beer. Um, 355 milliliter can. It looks great. And I, 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 th I was kind of like thinking, because I've not had a chance to read the back of the can, that this was like a, like a kind of like a fun, it, it just, when you look at it without reading the back of the can or, or glancing at something that's gone on in the back of the can here, it looks really like fun. You've got this guy, maybe like it's the head brewer or the owner of the brewery or somebody from from the, the town that maybe is slightly famous and you're doing a thumbs up on the, on the front of the can. Of course, I'm over here in South Wales in the UK. Um, lots of stuff goes on in the world without you really knowing about it, really. And uh, yeah, something... Right, let's get the beer out. We'll get into all of this in a moment. Thank you very much to Trav in Australia for sending such a fantastic beer parcel all the way. All the way to the UK from Australia. One to two finger tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass, 6.2% ABV, good levels of carbonation, looks good, looks good, let's, uh, let's get the aroma. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Wonderful. Roasty, toasty, biscuity, bready, coffee, chocolate, caramel aromas coming through. A little bit of Pipe tobacco smoke, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of plum, a little bit of fruit. Smells good. Smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cats up on the roof. Oh. That is wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Now, there's a few different variations of stout. There's one particular stout that it's strangely refreshing. 
it's called an Irish or a dry Irish stout. A dry Irish stout is dry. Yeah, that doesn't need too much explaining, does it? It's dry on the palate. It's roasty and toasty, lots of roasted malt coming through. But it's rather refreshing. It's not like big, thick, bold, creamy stout. This is this is a refreshing stout. This is a stout that you could probably session. It's refreshing. It's thin. It's meant to be thin. It's supposed to be thin. It's not supposed to be big and thick and bold and creamy and rich and hmm. I like that. I like that because just how refreshing the beer is. Raisin, plum, fig and prune. There's some vanilla flavour coming through. A little bit of cinnamon, maybe some spiciness coming through. It's really good, really, really good. And now it's time for me to read the side of the can. And... Um, uh, let me read this first. Based on the uh, original uh, Brehany Brewing Brothers Brewery's recipe book from 1920, uh, Superior Pure Stout is a celebration of a family brewing dynasty that made beer in Australia for over a hundred years. The Brehany family are without doubt the most influ influential family in Australian brewing history. Now, I don't know anything about that. Do you know? Do you know anything about that? David John Brehany, Dave, was the 20th brewer of the Brehany Brewing Dynasty. I'm guessing that's him there. Who was head brewer of Brehany Brothers Gippsland Brewery Sale in Victoria from 1900 to 1915. Sadly, Dave Bremley left us way too early in 2022, age 51, but not before becoming the longest serving employee of over 20 years as head brewer at Grand Ridge Brewery in Mirbo, North Victoria. Dave, Dave's Brews won over 100 international and national awards, cementing his place in Australian and Brehany family brewing history. As we raise a glass of Brehany Brothers Superior Stout as a tribute to Dave, his legacy lives on through his son Jack Brehany and his numerous nephews. Wow. Um, 51. I mean, that's six years' time for me. Um, you've got to live every moment, haven't you, in life? You have to live every single moment. I'm sure Dave did. I'm sure he lived every single moment. He seems, you know... He seems with his thumbs up there. He seems the type of guy that, that, that lived every single moment. Um, I don't do this stuff very well. I get all emotional. And, um, so I'm just going to say um, the stout is great. If anybody at Brehany Brothers Brewing Company are watching this, the stout is great. For me, it's a dry Irish stout. Thin, but very enjoyable with all of those lovely stout flavours that come through in the beer. Roastiness, toastiness, plum, fig, prune from the hops in the beer. It's a good stout, a refreshing stout. So I'm gonna give this, pardon me, a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.